Uh, Gus, what did you make of the game, first of all? Very competitive. Um, first half, we were competing well, we were getting the ball into good areas, maybe just a wee bit of composure and quality in the final third. Um, a couple of slack moments led to the penalty and the goal. So over the piece, there wasn't a lot between the teams. And the second half, I thought, was was very, very similar. You know, I think there wasn't a lot of goal mouth action, a couple of for, for each team. Um, but you know, if you come here, away from home, against a team like the firm who have been assembled over a couple of years, uh, and compete like that, you know, it stands us in good stead. You made changes in the second half, changed the formation a wee bit, putting Gary up top as well, and it almost came off. Yeah, we'd set up the same as Inverness, you know, and just Stephen came in instead of uh, Jacobs. So that was really the only difference, but I didn't want to tinker about too much with it because it was a very, very good performance up at Inverness. But as the game's going, we've looked one nil nil down, we've got to think more about the attacking options and getting... You know, just fresh legs out there and see if it, it nearly paid off again good area opened up a wee bit um, but we still were asking questions of Dunfermline defensively and that, that's all you can ask for You must have been pleased with the 90 minutes you get out of Stephen again Yeah I'm delighted I don't know when the last time we played 90 minutes so I'm delighted for him uh, again I've said to the whole group you know part of your preparation now for the following for the next game at Queen of South is your rest and your recuperation so that can, that just starts now so um, Stephen will be part of that the whole group start the preparation now for the next game so we we'll look forward to that For yourself it's been a fairly whirlwind 48 hours for you have you learned a lot about the squad in the last couple of days? Okay, I, I think I'll probably continue to learn as the season goes on you know because it's such a short period of time you know I've said that to the players even before the game started I said we've really only had two training sessions one full one because the, the first one was just a a recovery session after the game in Inverness, so it's it's not making any knee-jerk statements, you know, and saying what we're going to do. It's ultimately it's down to the players to make sure they play with that intensity, you know, and they'll not be far away from winning games. It's such a fine line at this championship. And now we've got a full week to prep for that game next week. Yeah, that's that's where it starts. It starts now. Um, we'll be in the Monday, win a week, you know, making sure we're preparing for that one. Um, I think it's just another important game. I keep saying that the next game is always the biggest game and I'm sure Anton have said that, I'm sure the players understand, they've heard it a thousand times throughout their career and the next game is the most important game. Gus, thanks for your time. Cheers Jerry.